guys, it is Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing and I'm here with a weekly wrap up with you guys. Um, so I read so much this week, I'm just going to jump straight on into it. Um, I am up in Donegal at the moment which is why my background is different in case you're wondering. Um, and I am, uh, I don't have some of the books, the physical books um, with me because obviously I left them at home. Um, so I'll just be showing pictures of them. But the first book that I finished this week was Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in the Shiver trilogy which I talked about last week which is like a werewolf, um, a YA werewolf um, series um, and it is about a girl called Grace who was bitten by wolves when she was younger um, and she kind of becomes has this like affinity with the wolves and then one day she realizes that they are actually packs of werewolves when one of the wolves that she had grown really close to um, becomes a boy called Sam who she falls in love with very quickly and it's just about them and the fact that um, at any point Sam can be taken away from her he can become a wolf and because his wolf changes depends on the weather the hot and cold weather so when it's really really cold he will shift into a wolf and when it's hot he will shift into a human so they only kind of have a few months um at a time with each other um and it's kind of sad and all that kind of stuff so yeah so i loved the first book i gave it a 3.5 really strong 3.5 stars on a reread um and i reread linger um and i really really enjoyed this one this one just follows on from the story from the end just some events that happen at the end of Shiver, we're seeing kind of how that how that is processed um, within the next couple of months with Grace and Sam. Um, I feel like the relationship just grows and grows and just grows deeper and more lovely and more intense. Um, as I said before, I really love Grace and Sam's relationship, even though it's quite it was quite insta lovey. There's just something about them that I really love and I just really root for them. Um, I wouldn't say they're like my OTP, but I just root for them. I just think they're really cute together. Um, but I felt like this book in particular um, just it did a really good job of showing how complex all the characters were. It really delved into a lot of their worries. Um, we're kind of seeing Sam contemplating a future for the first time ever. Grace is kind of going backwards in a way and she's worrying about things she's never had to worry about before and she's kind of keeping some things from Sam in a way she wouldn't have before. There's a new character called Cole who's really really interesting. He's a new wolf um, and he has just like got so many issues going on and then there's a girl called Isabel who was in the first book and we just see a lot more of her um, and we get some of her point of views in this book as well. And she's dealing with a lot of guilt over some things that happened in the first book and we see it negatively affect her. It's really interesting to see how all these characters struggle with all their different issues um, and just, I don't know, just how much humanness is in them and... I don't know, I just, I just really, really loved this book and um, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I just really enjoyed seeing them struggle, seeing them kind of start forgiving themselves for different things and start um, overcoming these struggles as well. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it, gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read um, is a short story collection. It was given to me by the publishers, Strange Medicine by Mike Russell. This is a really weird kind of fantastical whimsical selection of short stories and it's just kind of one of these where like nothing in the stories makes sense because they're all so weird but I really enjoyed them Um, I gave this like a 3.54 stars kind of a really strong 3.5 stars I guess Um, and a lot of the stories were only like they weren't very long they're like a few pages and um, some of them had like different chapters there were some that were longer than others um, and they had almost different chapters within the short story um but yeah I really really enjoyed these I feel like if people like Neil Gaiman they would really like these kind of stories um I wouldn't say they're quite as they're, they're not like really really like Neil Gaiman's writing but they kind of have that kind of whimsical fantastical what the hell is going on you know kind of feeling to them and you're kind of just accepting what the book is throwing at you because you're like none of this makes any sense but I'm enjoying it so I'm not going to question it kind of way. Um, so I really enjoyed it. There were a few that I really really loved. There was one uh, called Brain which I really enjoyed or the brain that I really loved. There was one about a mime um, and about a mime kind of learning that she could make things like that were invisible actually appear even though they were invisible she could actually kind of create them um, and that was quite a long short short story in the book that's probably the longest story in the book um, but I really really enjoyed that one and there was one at the end called Sheesh which is just like completely weird but I really enjoyed it as well 
Um, so yeah, I can't say too much about it because they are short stories. I don't want to say too much about them without spoiling them. Um, but I will say if someone's just looking for something kooky and something fun um, to read, I would pick this one up because it was just, yeah, it was just fun and crazy and nice. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So 3.5 out of 5 stars. I listened to two different audiobooks uh, this week. The first book I listened to was The Left Hand of Darkness by um, Ursula Le Guin. And this is obviously uh, Ursula Le Guin is a very kind of known name in the science. Uh, science fiction universe but I've never actually read any of her books before but I just saw this one on my library app and I decided I would give it a go because it's only like two hours long um, and it's, ba it's basically the BBC adaption of this book so it wasn't the full like audio narr narrative of the book but it was kind of a condensed scripted version and um, so it had kind of sound effects and stuff like that and a whole cast of characters um, and at first I was a bit like oh I don't know if I like this because I've never read kind of this kind of audiobook before I've always read just like just straight audio narrations of it um of books um so I wasn't really sure if I could really follow this one especially because it was a science fiction book you know there were some things that maybe I wasn't catching on to um but I did end up really really enjoying the book um, and I gave it a three out of five stars I gave it a three out of five stars just because I think just for the audio book version that I read the, my enjoyment would have been a three out of five stars my understanding and all of that kind of stuff but I think if I read this book it could have been a four stars I don't know but I think maybe next year at some point I will pick up the book or maybe the end of this year once I have a bit of time between the two of them um, and I'll read it properly and I'll see what I think about it then because I'll be really I'll actually be really looking forward to seeing what I think of the full book um, in comparison to, to the audio narration um, or, this, or the BBC adaption of it um, but I did really enjoy it um, and I didn't actually say what this is about but it's about this kind of human uh, called Gemli I and he goes to this um, kind of planet where there are ambi um, gendered people so they're kind of they're not female they're not male but they go through like periods where they're fertile and they can have children but like you know anyone can kind of have a child um, and he's basically going to them and he's trying to get this this these this country or this kind of two countries or something to join into another kind of bigger kind of union of these planets um but they don't trust him because they call him a pervert because he's like fully male he's not like ambigendered the way they are um, and he has a lot of trouble kind of get trying to get them to trust him um and he kind of gets um friendly with a few people there but then all this kind of stuff happens but it, it was good I did really enjoy it and um, as I said it's three out of five stars but I will definitely read the book at some point and see what I think of the full book. The next audiobook um, I read I actually haven't completely finished I have like three chapters left so only probably like 20 minutes of it left um, and but I it, this was actually a reread because I read this as a child and um, so I know what happens in it um, but this one is Under the Hawthorn Tree by Marita Conlon McKenna and this is a children's book that you will basically find in every single classroom in Ireland. This is a book that you will see um, in every single uh, primary school classroom um, and it is about the famine in Ireland. So it's about three children, Eileen, Michael and uh, Peggy and basically they are these poor um irish irish kids their their parents aren't very well off um, and obviously when the famine when the potato blight strikes ireland they're really affected by it their dad has to go and work on the roads um, their sister their tiny little sister bridget dies and then their mum goes out to find their dad and kind of never returns um and they don't know what to do so they decide they've kind of they're being threatened by the landlord that they'll have to be sent to the workhouse because they have no one there to take care of them. Um, and instead of going to the workhouse, they decide to go and try and find these great ants that their mother has always talked about. So they know kind of where this, the town where these ants are living, but they decide they're kind of trekking across the country in the middle of the famine with hardly any food um, to find these ants and to try and find a new home for themselves. Um, so this is one I read when I was younger and I really enjoyed it and I really really enjoyed the audio narration of it as well and I think this book just did a really really good way of teaching children like as for myself like teaching children about the famine but in a way that wasn't really really scary but at the same time really emphasized the strain that the Irish people were under the you know the the amount of people that died from it the amount of unfairness that there was like there's a scene in it where these people are starving there's like they're literally skin and bones they're in this kind of harbour town and wagons of grain are going past them from um kind of Irish estates owned by English landlords this grain which could feed 
so many Irish people, these Irish people who are starving have nothing to eat and they are being sent to England where they obviously, you know, they're not being affected by the by the potato uh, famine because it affected Ireland, it didn't affect England, um, or not as much anyway, I don't think. Um, but all this grain has been shipped from Ireland where its people are starving to England because obviously the English landlords and there's a, there was buying and selling and stuff going on. But um, I just always remember that scene and I always just remember feeling so annoyed by it and so angered that this happened, that these people were starving while the landlords and like the richer English folk who were in charge at the time just like just this grain was just going right in front of them and they were just like well you guys can go and starve to death we don't care um so yeah it's just one of those things just makes me really angry um and there's also a scene where Michael and Ivy find a cow stuck in a bush um, and what they do is they bleed her a little bit like they don't kill the cow they bleed the cow so they can kind of make a black pudding and I always remember that scene from when I was younger as well that these kids like they literally took the blood from this cow because they were so hungry they needed a little bit of sustenance um, and I just always remember that scene because I just thought it was a very poignant scene um, but this book is really really great as I said it has a it's a really good thing of like it does a really good job of educating people about the famine but not in a really kind of horrible way just in this kind of story-like way but it does get a lot of really good points across um and i'm like, giving this like a four out of five stars i really enjoyed it um and yeah and i'll definitely go on there's this is like a trilogy um so the next one is called wildflower girl and it's about peggy when she's a little bit older so um i am going to try and get that on audiobook next the next book I finished was With Blood Upon the Sand by Bradley Bolu. I'm not actually going to talk about this one because I have um, a video review of the first two books in this series, which is the Song of the Shattered Sand series. Um, so that's The Twelve Kings of Sharon Kai and With Blood Upon the Sand. I have a video review of that coming out at the end of this week, so I will talk about that more then. But I did really, really enjoy this book and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, and then the next book I finished was um, a book I finished last night, and that was Quidditch Through the Ages by J.K. Rowling. Um, and I'm not going to talk about that one either because I did kind of a vlog. Um, I basically did the Harry Potter Cozing Reading Night that Lauren and Lauren the Books is doing tomorrow. I did that um, on Friday instead because... I'm not available on Monday to be able to take part in it so I did my own kind of one I have a vlog up of that so that'll be coming up on Tuesday I think um so yeah I'm not going to talk about that but I really enjoyed that one I gave it a five out of five stars um and I'll talk about it more in my vlog um and that is everything and I feel like I have not stopped talking for about 10 minutes which is probably true um so that is everything I've read please let me know what you guys think um and I will see you guys again next time bye